hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Guess what? It's Chapter 5, House Party Story for LEGO The Incredibles. That's right, we're actually going to go check out the old par house and make mincemeat of it, actually. And we're going to get a trophy achievement called Party House. We're also going to get that 35,000 stud requirement. But let's go ahead and jump right in where we left off. Attention! Attention! I want to thank everyone that came out tonight in support of superheroes. Leaders from more than a hundred of the world's top countries have agreed to make superheroes legal again! We'll gather superheroes and leaders from all over the planet on our boat, the Ever Just, for a televised signing ceremony at sea! Oh well, when in Rome! Okay, good. Use the thing. See, that that's the current readout. He's there! Okay, come out. Num num cookie. Yay! Yay Jack Jack! Jack. <laughs> you startled me. <laughs> Sorry, I noticed you slip away. You seemed preoccupied. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just needed a breather. Sure. Fancy stretching your legs? Oh, uh, I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, Void. And that would be great. Come on. All right, so as we gain control of our heroes here, I think what we're about to achieve is called the old looky loo. <laughs> I'm not sure because I've never really had it broken down what that really is. But anyway, we're going to distract these guys here by uh, basically causing some uh, ruckus out here. So we're going to rip down not one but two speakers using the old go-go gadget arms of Elastigirl. And once those are down, it's going to cue us up that we need to go ahead and take down this big billboard up here as the last big piece of our puzzle. So we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the far right-hand side. And you can see there's an arrow. It's kind of easy to, to figure out what we got to do here as it's pointing us the direction. And look at that. Over on the far right, we're going to smash that spotlight, rebuild up into a portal. What? That's pretty cool. So apparently, Old Void can generate portals and move into new areas. So we'll go ahead and step up to the plate, hit the icon indicated, and woo she woo. All of a sudden, we are up. Uh oh. I don't know why she didn't make it a little lower. I don't know. A little bit of a drop would have sketched me out. But all the way at the end of this balcony, we can go ahead and smash down the lock, holding down the. The old billboard and Booyaka Show. Down below is the bouncing bricks. We'll go ahead and build those up. And guess what? It's going to go ahead and distract Cake. Who doesn't love Cake? It's going to distract this bodyguard. And we'll go ahead and sneak right in and get to the next level, which happens to be called, that's right, you guessed it, House Party. I wonder if Kid and Play are going to be there. Is that, is that an old reference? I guess I'm old. So anyhow, we'll go ahead and step into the halo. And of course, away we will go. There we go. Hit that button and let's get to getting. Interesting. Oh, so this is where you two are hiding. Boyd, I think uh, Winston's looking for you. Oh, sure. Right. I guess I'll catch up with you later. Funny. What? One of Screenslaver's monitors is tuned into my suit cam. What? Isn't the suit cam closed circuit? It is. Then how come Screenslaver has it? Maybe he hacked it? <laughs> oh. What if the pizza guy is really a pizza guy, but he was controlled by the screens built into his glasses? Hello? Elastigirl's in trouble. What? What happened to her? Sorry to tell you on the phone. Meet me on our ship at DevTech. What's going on? 
I don't know, the dad called Lucius after getting a call about mom, then left. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Hello? You kids aren't safe. The Devers sent us to take you. Well, isn't that redundant? The Devers just sent me here to guard the house. Because the kids aren't safe. Here we go. Who was once our friend is now our foe. That's right. Electrix is now being controlled by the screen slaver and is attacking us in the house of Par. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and do some redecorating here. In fact, we've got uh, four or five baddies under some mind control that are going to need to be uh, redirected here. And you can see I got those guys all done did. And now we've got this giant floating electric guy who's uh, shooting some stuff at us. So I make my way over to the right. Look at that. There is a table and chairs that needs to be destroyed. And once them is all done did, we're going to go ahead and rebuild them into something amazing. Oh, look at this. Cha-cha, cha-cha, cha-cha. It's fun. I love those uh, multiple uh, kind of ca -ca -ca combos. And look, we got the y'all uh, push switch here, so we'll go ahead and push it along. Yeah, push it. Along. And oh, a little secret electric pod pops out. And luckily for us, we've got somebody throwing electric balls at us. So we just gotta basically uh, get over here by the electric charge panel and let him do the dirty work for us. Thank you very much. It'll go ahead and wait. What? What's going on here? A tiki bar? A DJ? Oh my goodness! And is that like a? Is that looks looks like a spa, hot tub? I don't know about you, but uh, water and electricity not necessarily good friends. Probably not gonna want to hang out for much longer if this is gonna go down. But hey, let's go ahead and see what happens. It's not our fate that's at stake here. We're not the ones uh, with an electric current around us floating above water. So we'll go ahead and get Violet into her secret squirrel ball over here. I don't know what this is called. I'm sure there's some fancy word for it that I have yet to learn, but we'll have to use old dash to hop inside and make it go oh so fast and charge it up so that we can actually reveal an ice spot here. We got to fill this up and ah, oh, I don't know why I struggle so badly with this. And there's some more levels coming up that are just terrible, but essentially you got to go ahead and target the bottom of that frozen patch and continue to build some, I guess it's an ice claw and it turns him into the snowman. What? Frosty has been, uh, well, I guess subdued for now. We'll go ahead and give him the old cha-cha, cha-cha, and ooh, we see some pink glowy bits. Now, I don't know what the name of this special ability is either, but it's kind of like a master build, and Violet is going to be the character in need for this one. But first, let's take out the bad guys that have been mind-controlled, and ooh, got a, we got a super attack, so we'll go ahead and fill up that meter, and go ahead and take out, well, a few of the bad guys anyway couple more spawn in. We'll go knock their blocks off. And, oh, these guys are charging at us. That's co -co crazy. But, uh, all right. Look at that. They're even teleporting all around us. Frozone's got them, though. Next up, switch to old Violet and roll around until you pick up all three of the pink piles of glowing bricks. So uh, it takes me a minute to figure this out. You do have to smash a couple of items in the room if they didn't already get knocked down in the carnage whilst fighting. But uh, yes, you're going to have to get your little uh, sweet sphere. We'll call it that for now. And I'll figure it out one of these days. And then I got to roll around, roly poly, pick them all up. Come on. It's like, uh, what was that name? Uh, Katamari something, some, something. That was a cool game back in the day where you used to roll around and pick up all sorts of stuff. And then once you got everything, you could make really cool stuff. Kind of like what we just did right here. Hop on to the old Swaykle there and press and hold the icon indicator, which also happens to be Swaykle. And look at that. We've created a giant microphone. It looks kind of similar to the blue snow Yeti that I use on my desk that I'm talking into right now. This one doesn't have a pop filter on it. The one, the one on screen doesn't. Mine has a pop filter. As it turns out, though, we actually need to go over to the far right side and use Jack-Jack to go. Or sorry. Birch, reverse that. we got to use Dash. We don't have Jack-Jack. Come on, Brian. 
First, you got to flip the switch, though. And what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's, uh, I don't know if I like that or not. I, I was always instructed as a child to stay out of those types of scenarios at, like, McDonald's and things like that. Always was warned of infection and, and grossness lurking inside those ball pits. But, uh, all right, I finally figured out what's going on over here. I need to use Violet's Sweet Sphere, and I need to hop in with Dash, not Jack-Jack, and make my way all the way through that lava and into the back where we got this wheel that Dash can uh, quickly power up and it's kind of like an electric charge wheel and look at that zoop, 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 zoop. all of a sudden we got some ooh high definition speakers and that's that's the sound that came through there if you didn't hear it uh knocks him down and we've got some bouncing bricks over in the far left corner what else we got we've got oh no why are all the guys that were just on our side now against us not not really going in our favor, but it turns out we, we got this under wraps. We'll go over here and build up, uh, what is this? Uh, oh yeah, it's another charge panel. So hop on it with Dash, charge it on up, and it's actually gonna launch us across the room. These things are really crazy. And here we go, we run up and over, up oh, through the, ooh, that didn't work out so well. However, it now has revealed an ice spot, which we can use with Frozone here in a second. And I try to jump over, watch this, I, I think I try like two or three times to jump up over there, and I fail every time. What we need to do is we need to go invisible, so Violet is very much in need up here, and she can sneak by here in a second, but not quite yet. So I, I load up again before I figure this out, and I go up there one more time. Boop, 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 and then let's go up top again. And now this time I need to switch down to Frozone, and there we go. Come on, where are you at, Frozone? There you is. Oh, wait, where? What? Where? Come on, switch. The old musical characters. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? One of these days. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think I actually pull up the character select wheel before I actually gain any ground there. You can see you got to start at the top and work your way down this time. It's a little different than the previous ice sculptures that we created. But now we can go ahead and scale that to get up top. But we're going to need Violet, as I already mentioned, so we can go ahead and sneak by. And let's see here. One of these days I figured out, nah, not yet. Frozone goes up, and I'm like, oh, yeah, we got to... We gotta sneak by. I try to freeze this dude. Does not work. And long story short, as I've already told you, you need Violet to go ahead and sneak on Violet. That's right. And I'm still, I'm still haven't quite figured it out. But uh, here we go. We get up top here, and the game actually reminds me. Hey, psst, you. By the way, she can go invisible and sneak by. And that's when I actually figured it out. So thank you, game. Once we get across, we'll go ahead and connect the dots. La, la, la. And you know how this works. You want to try and use as many squares as possible, connecting one color to the next. And if you get them all, you actually get a nice little bonus reward of studage. If you miss some, don't worry. You still get some studs. But uh, we want to maximize our stud count because, you know, we're probably going to need it at some point until we don't need it. And we have way too many. But, uh, hey, cutscene. <laughs> Good news and bad news. We found her. She seems physically fine, but she's had an encounter with Screen Slaver and she's acting kind of strange in here. Strange how? Ellen! Excuse me, uh, the shrimp salad doesn't seem to agree with me. Anyway, now, I have something Ooh. very important that I'd like to ask you. <laughs> Dessert by the pool, darling? Hashtag triggered. 
You know how I'm always complaining about, you know, boss battle leads into boss battle leads into boss battle. Well, it's kind of like what happens right here. In essence, really, it's the breakdown of the old traditional rule of three in LEGO. And basically, the first area or wave that we have to battle here is with or against the brick. And you just got to wait for your moment to attack. And once he's got the little Tweety Birds, like right here, Tweet, 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 go ahead and strike him down. And once you do that, knocks him on his back, and old Crusher comes out. And this guy is kind of the same. You just got to kind of wait for your moment to attack. However, we need a little help from Jack-Jack. And let's see here. Here in a second, we're going to gain control of Jack-Jack and uh, use the fire version of him to go ahead and melt some things down. But uh, we got a little bit of business to handle first, taking out those uh, bad guys. And we got to get crushed a time or two. And look at that. Once you get, I think, first time you get a rock that lands on your noggin, it actually refers to that point and says, switch on over to Jack-Jack and get your melt melt on. And we're going to go ahead and do that now with our heat ray. But it's a funny angle. Look at this. I can't quite get what I'm trying to do done here. And as I continue to struggle, I get hit with another rock. And we'll go ahead and jump over to the far left and get a little different angle. And ready, ready, ready. Oh, yeah. Not only do I get the gold lock melted, but I also take out that baddie that was in my way. But wait, there's more. In fact, there's a one more gold piece that needs to be melted over on the far right side. You can see I avoided another smashing right there. And we'll go ahead and cha-cha him real quick. And we got a super attack, but we really just need to melt this gold brick down. And unfortunately, I get, uh, well... Sidetracked one more time, and Booyaka Show! We knock him down, and in comes the rule of three. So that was the second one, Crusher. First was Brick, then the Crusher. Now we get a little Mad Max treatment here, as we get a little kind of homage to Master Blaster. Anybody remember that old movie? But uh, basically, there was a giant, and a, I guess for lack of a better term, a little person. And the little person rode on the giant's back, and they did all sorts of damage to people. It was crazy. So that's kind of what happens here. we got to fight them, though. So look for those incredible bricks. As you can see, one just kind of appeared out of nowhere from that rock that got smashed. And we're going to grab it. And we got to do that two more times until we've got all three of them bricks. And then we can do that group build in the middle and finish up the level. So here we go. We'll go ahead and basically guide him into the rock. So once the rock hits the ground, you're going to want to guide the brick, or master blaster as I've been calling him, into that rock. And once he KOs himself, it should reveal the incredible brick. Like I said, repeat this three times, and da, 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 you'll have what you need to go ahead and step up to the plate. And we're going to do that now, but this one is crazy. There's actually four of us, four of us. So we got to spam that button like crazy. Now, keep in mind, the goal for a group build is to have all of those meters completed. So you might have to switch back to one or two of the meters you've already filled up. So watch me. I'm going to go to dash because he's the fastest and then i go over to uh yeah yep yeah, 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 and then oh yeah, yeah all right fill them all up now i gotta go back because that one's down that one's down oh to the yeah they're all filled and booyaka shall the cutscene should ensue here in just a second oh yeah that's right we got the little uh i forgot the old rock'em sock'em robots first i totally forgot about this so uh, once you get the incredible build done, switch to dash quickly so you can go ahead and pick up as many of those blues and purples twos as you possibly can. And look at that. We got that true super stud requirement right then and there. And we'll go ahead and step up to one of these circles and press the icons indicated. And, and that takes us away. See you at the final totals.
Boy, that Incredibill is pretty awesome. And as we ring off that trophy achievement, Party House, for completing the level and get that gold brick, you know, I just want to point out the kids did get away, but unfortunately, Frozone got captured. So, uh, Screen Slaver will strike again. And we'll actually find out more in what is kind of the finale of the second movie, or the first half of the story in the next level. So uh, we did get that true super. We didn't get any of those mini kits. You can expect to find those in the free play. Of course, thanks for watching. That is going to wrap up Lego The Incredibles Chapter 5 House Party, where we, uh, we had fun. And we smash some things and we grab some studs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And of course, tell all of your Lego friends all about us. For me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. <laughs>